O great people of Iraq, peace be upon you and mercy from Allah. We are not the only great nation. You are not the only people, great people of Iraq, who was faced by the challenging task. How and to what extent I should fight and be mujahid? Until what limit I should do that? You are not the only great nation who was faced by the challenging task. Challenged with the challenging task of generous sacrifices to defend our country and the rights of God and the rights of the honorable people that the corrupt infidel enemy is trying today to violate. The right of humans to freedom in their country and the other rights was granted by the great God. God's anger is always against anyone who violate these rights and always caused the owners of the house, the owner of the nations to be victorious against their aggressors, the invaders the enemies of God. Victory is for the holy ones against the unclean ones. No matter how long is the time it will take to conclude the struggle and regardless to the way the struggle is conducted. The era of occupations and colonialism of other nation is diminishing and it becomes the exception and the time where people live free in their countries is on the rise. This is the accurate reading, clear reading of the history to any occupation or invasion or aggression. But the question that remains from the past until now regarding the invasion of the oppressors, the enemy, against our beloved Iraq. <coughs> but the question that remains from the past until now regarding the invasion of the oppressors, the enemy against our beloved Iraq, who will win the heavenly reward and honor of defending the infidel oppressors? Us? the current generation or we neglect our duty so we deserve to be stoned then the new generation will come after us to win this honor we have said people and armed forces and I said and I said it with you and even before you with my brothers in the leadership that we are the current generation we are determined to win the honor of defending our land and our principles until the end that Allah permits in a way and in this way or by any other way we are confident that victory is ours we are confident that victory is ours at the end and that God will help us based on the amount of faith and determination in the battle. The people, all of them, men and women, have said it and confirmed it. The armed forces have said it, all of it said it. The party also said it. All other national forces that support the party also said it. And the pillars of the society and the big names in Iraq and the great men of Iraq. So, and because of that, we committed ourselves as leadership by relying on our great awesome God. So, 
And because of that, we committed ourselves as leadership by relying on our great, awesome God. I believed you in your pledge and your promises. The leadership believed it and believed in you. I still remember it and I will never forget it. And anyone who is shaky or weak or who loses his faith, remember, and each of you tell each other that hard times needs patience. Need patience. In order to expel and prevent the invaders from causing dangerous lasting effects or even the final picture of danger even worst which is the deepest fear in our soul the invaders will not do that harm that will never be achieved unless the faithfuls becomes shaky or weak in their jihad unless the faithfuls become shaky or weak in their jihads and their patience remember that O oh smart and intelligent Iraqis and remind everyone now and in the future that the base of faith is what is what Allah puts in our hearts based on the amount of preparedness you have in your hearts be careful never let your guards down be careful never let your guards down which leads to regrets and failures failure that will waste your chance do not build your action based on what the enemy say and their propaganda and rumors that they declare remember Allah in all what you do and remember your promises to him and in front of all the good people Allah is the most capable of granting you victory and at the end when victory comes comes with it great deeds great deeds that will help you after life and will grant peaceful and glorious life to you on earth which is the sign of righteousness to all the nation on the other hand God forbid your land will be full of corruption and you will pay the price of your weakness the weak souls forever you are the people of high principles and those of you who made mistakes they can correct it now or in the future and uh, and those who are speaking weakness remind them to become strong and instead speak strength steadfastness and will keep dignity not only on earth but also guarantee heaven to those who die your leadership if you want to know is strong nothing will shake it not now not in the future as it was in the past we are building on our strength on you strong ones with high principles strength and success is only from Allah Allahu Akbar live our great nation 
and the Fida'iyin in Iraq and from the, all the other great Arab nations. Allahu Akbar, let the Iraqi Mujahid army forever. Live Iraq, live Palestine, free and Arab. Allahu Akbar, may they lose.